So tell me, how did you get, get involved with this film, and uh, <coughs> why did you want to be part of it? Because that's not usually your genre of of, um, I don't have do. a usual genre. I like to do <laughs> lots of different things. So when this came to me, and I'd never heard of this Krampus character before, um, it was initially very intriguing. Uh, Mike Doherty, our writer-director, sent the script, but he also sent a bunch of images that he'd very thoughtfully collated, and I looked through them, and they kind of freaked me out. I was like, what the hell is this? Um, and when I read the script, I loved that it starts out in one kind of tone or genre or one feeling or you think you're on one path and you are swiftly taken somewhere else. I love to be surprised when I'm reading something or even as an audience member. And that's what this particular film does. Sure. Tell me how it was uh, to work with Michael Doherty. Um, it was a pleasure. I mean, he wrote this. He was so um, dedicated and specific and kind of childlike in his enthusiasm, you know. Um, there are a lot of creatures and characters and ghoulies involved in this and, and some of them were done in post and a lot we worked with, you know, there were a lot of practical effects or puppets for want of a better word. And um, when I watched the film last night for the first time, I just, I was like, man, he got it. Exactly what he aimed for and what he told us he was going to do is in the movie. It's tonally really, actually it has a sweetness to it, you know, it's funny and it's witty and... Um, and it's scary, but it's it's all constant. It's kind of still retains its sense of humor, and it has a sweetness and a heart, you know. Mm -hmm. Reminded me a little bit of Gremlins, by the way. Me too. Which was the yeah. first film I went to see without an adult with a bunch of friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what has been your worst Christmas ever, and why? I love Christmas. I don't think I've had a really bad one. I mean. Um, an unfortunate incident happened a couple of years ago. For the first time, I took my family to go and have Christmas in Mexico on the beach. Usually we're in Australia and with, we're with the rest of our family. And I stupidly sent the gifts ahead thinking, oh, I won't have to take them all or, you know, the kids won't see them or mm -hmm. there just won't be so much luggage and they, you know, they went missing. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit of a pity. <laughs> yeah. Um, what does Krampus represent to you and what does this film evoke for you? Krampus, oh Krampus. Um, <laughs> well, Krampus himself is is, you know, this ancient folkloric, um, evil, demonic, pagan, hooved nightmare who will come and terrorize you mm -hmm. if you've been bad through the year. Much in the same way, Santa will reward you with gifts if you've been good. That song exists. I grew up with the you know, better watch out, you better not cry, because he knows if you're naughty or nice. But you know, there's always been this kind of this kind of uh, somebody watching this, that element, which is a little strange. Um, but Krampus, I guess, ultimately for this family, ends up being a great reminder to um, to simply acknowledge and appreciate each other, you know, because they have lost their way. They've lost their faith, they've lost their connection, and that's what Krampus does for them. So in case Santa is watching, have you been a good girl or a bad girl? A little bit of both. <laughs> and what, what, it's what, the best what, way to fly. <laughs> and what would you like this this year for Christmas? Oh, I've just been told everyone keeps saying sleep, but it's really all I want. I just want to have a little rest. Um, I just I I'm a fan of Christmas, so as long as I'm with my family, that's it. You know, where I don't have to rush off somewhere, or nobody else has to rush off, and you just have this day, or a couple of days if you're lucky, where you. You just get to be together. You literally just laze around. In Australia, we swim and we cook great food and, you know, watch the Christmas carols. And it's summertime over there, Yeah, right? it's oh, very so different. it's a different yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of the California experience, actually. <laughs> it's even warmer. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.